probably the least important uh, from a football standpoint, but I wanted to lead with this. Uh, but uh, the most important from a human standpoint would be, of course, what Cameron Babb accomplished against uh, Indiana and what he's accomplished now for an entire collegiate career, Steve. And we'll start with you. And for anyone that's not aware, you will do a better job than me of outlining his challenges and what he has uh, faced and what he's overcome. Yeah, fifth-year senior, and I look back, I think he was a national top 100 player in the uh, 2018 class. So uh, 2018, fifth-year senior, uh, been through uh, four different ACL injuries, two in each knee, uh, two in the right, two in the left, and uh, even had a little bit of a tweak, I guess, during the preseason one way or the other and uh, had thought he was close to being ready to come back and uh, help the team this year and might have been in the top six in terms of the wide receiver unit. And uh, he did not get a chance to play, obviously, until this past week. He had never caught a pass in four previous seasons. I think he had been on the field a few times here and there, but uh, never caught a pass in a, in a game. And uh, lo and behold, it's late in the game, and um, – they put him in uh, down near the goal line and threw the ball to him, and he caught it. C.J. Stroud had gone to Ryan Day and said, let's see if we could get one here for uh, Cameron Babb, who's a team captain, despite uh, having never really uh, produced a whole lot on the field. He's one of the team's spiritual leaders. And the team rallied around him after that touchdown. It was quite an emotional scene there on the sideline at Ohio Stadium, and everybody was uh, – just everybody was celebrating offense, defense, coaches, support personnel, everybody. Uh, they had a delay of game penalty on the uh, point after attempt, and I don't think anybody cared in a 40-point blowout uh, that uh, they were a few seconds uh, late getting ready uh, for the extra point. And as we all know, uh, that's all automated nowadays anyways. As soon as the touchdown uh, goes off, they start the 40-second clock just like it's any other play, which I don't necessarily agree with that. I think in a certain situation like this, it kind of uh, puts a damper on, you know, what uh, what should have been a joyous moment for them, and maybe the officials should have a little bit of heart. But, uh, again, from Indiana's standpoint, you can't stand out there all day waiting on them to kick the extra point either. So no big deal, but uh, Cameron Babb, congratulations to him. And now the big thing is, how healthy can he get? How much can he play? And uh, can he help this team? Because uh, it doesn't seem like Jackson Smith, the Jigba, I mean, unless he's doing something that we don't know about, is going to be helping this team. You know, maybe he's going to try and give it a go next week. It's Michigan. You hear. But, uh, again, uh, you know, I had somebody posted on our site that they didn't even see him on the sideline this past week, which I don't know whether that's true or not. I, I can't recall. <clears throat> Yeah, the, uh, I think the officials showed their heart when they didn't give Ohio State a celebration penalty because it was – the place erupted. Uh, the, it, it was a little bit closer to an NFL celebration than what, you know, the, the, the tolerance is for a collegiate touchdown. Um, I immediately was like, there's no way that they're going to get this off in time, and they didn't, and then they had a false start. So they were able to push it back almost to a field goal range in terms of uh, the extra point, but – you have to feel great for Cam. Um, I was standing near the Ohio State sideline, or I was on the sideline. I was near the team. And um, when CJ started to kind of roll out to his uh, to his right, you know, you could hear people being like, oh, this is Cam's play. This is Cam's play. And uh, they connected. And it was, you know, it was a great moment. It, 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 it took a game that was going to be the Mayan Williams game, the Mayan Williams injury game, just another 40-point beating game and turned it into the Cam Bab game. And that's what people will remember it uh, for. About 104,000 people listed in the stadium. There'll probably be 300,000 people run around saying that they were there for it. One of those good human element stories that uh, we don't seem to get enough of these days. Yeah. Before the season, you know, when we're all writing preseason stuff, I wrote uh... – like 100 things for Buckeye fans to be excited about. And Cam Babb's first catch was the first thing that I wrote about because it's something that has been a long time coming. Missed 2018, missed 2019, played in 2020, but mostly special teams. Got out there and ran a few routes in 2020, but Justin Fields never saw him or you know plays never went to him. And then, of course, missed last year and probably 
to, if, if we're being honest, probably shouldn't be playing this year. You know, like if this was a normal year, he probably would, would have missed this year as well. But being the fifth year, wanting to get out there, it's it's late in the season. You have an opportunity. The situation was perfect. As Ryan Day said, even the, the, the side of the field was perfect. The hash mark was perfect because they wanted to get that roll right and the, the quick out. And so everything lined up and, and they did it. I kept – Kept wondering when we were going to see it earlier in the game. You know, you had the, the the throw to Cade Stover, the play action throw to Cade Stover when he was wide open. I thought, well, maybe the maybe the roll out there for for Cam Bab. But yeah, it was one of those things where also we when you see the availability report and it didn't even register with me that he wasn't on it because he's always he's been on it all year long. And then when he's not on it and you see him out there war, in warm ups running routes, you're like, okay, this is real. Let's watch this and. And now you've got something to watch because Ohio State and Indiana isn't always necessarily something to watch. Guys, thanks for uh, outlining that. Uh, I got to tell you that uh, I see these hype videos, whether they're true hype videos for a game or just, uh, you know, uh, videos that uh, obviously profile various athletes and and there are great stories all over the place but I'm not one to take those in not because I don't think that they're great stories or are meaningful and all those things just hey I'm busy I can't sit and watch this for 12 minutes but I took the time out this week to do that several times with Cameron Babb and what he accomplished throughout the the last four or five years going back to his senior year in high school and then of course on Saturday against Indiana